Hey you guys, this is Eric. Today's art lesson is how to paint in acrylic. And the way I'm gonna do this particular lesson is finger painting. Um, you can use your brushes if you want to. Um, I'm just gonna use fingers because it's easy for me and it's loose and um, I kinda like that loose feel to it. Um, it's not too stiff and rigid. So sometimes I like to splatter and smear it with my thumb, etc. Um, again, you can feel free to use your brushes. So you'll need um, watercolor paper or a board and a brush and deep red, orange, dioxazin purple, white, and green. And if you can get those supplies, then watch this video. Then after that, we'll all do it together. Okay? Enjoy the video. Hey, everybody. Today, I'm going to learn how to paint a strawberry. And to do that, I'm going to get some proportion here. I'm going to get kind of an outline of the size of the strawberry it could be. So let's see, let's sketch kind of a, the strawberry is a rounded triangle, right? And it's got a stem on top, just a loose, this is going to be very loose, almost finger paint style, okay? So that's basically our strawberry shape and form. Now we're just going to put some dark and light warm colors in there and see what happens. Um, let's squirt a little bit of dark magenta and some cad red. And let's mix it around a little bit. What do you say? Let's go. Keep it loose. Keep it fun. Look at that. Beautiful color. Oh, la, la. It's already beautiful. Look at this thing. It's growing. It's organic. It's pretty. I like it already. Okay, so now we're going to put some highlights on there. So I'm going to grab a little dab of white. Like this. A little dab. Just kind of effect and tint. Let's pick a light source. Let's pick a light source coming this way. That means the light's coming on the top of the strawberry and kind of around the front a little bit. So let's pick a point like that. And then uh, work down the top down strawberry here. I'm creating a highlight. Uh, let's see. Let's add a little warmth to it. Some orange, maybe. Orange. Just a little bit of warmth. Warm on the heat side, the light side, and cool, cool down here. So let's add a little bit of warmth just for some fun color, right? Color is always fun, makes people happy. So there you go, kind of a light source. Um, might be my hands here. I'm gonna go a little stronger with the highlight now. Not much, a little bit. Okay, and let's see, let's nail it. Finger painting is fun because it's very organic and free. It's very liberating to look at. Okay, so let's go darker here now in the shadow area, okay? My dog is coming into the room. That's the sound you just heard. So let's get some dark purple. Let's not use black. Let's use dark purple on the your highlights here. Shadows here, right? So let's go darker here. Underneath. So now we have kind of some dimension. We have a strawberry, okay? We have a light source and the highlights coming here. We have the absence of light here and the shadows rolling over like that, okay? So that's actually a really good start. Okay, while I'm waiting for that, all those reds to dry, I'm gonna put in some stem. I'm gonna start the stem. Okay, I found some greens. I found some greens here. So let's start putting in the stem. Um, squirt some green here, there's green. 
keeping it loose, not being too serious about it. I mean, it's only strawberry painting, right? It's not a portrait or something. Running low on green, I go to the store. Do it. See my fingers? I'm just gonna use the tips, like the, almost the fingernails. Kind of. Probably good enough. That was easy. Okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna do is something unusual. I'm gonna put those little seeds in, right? So let's squirt out some dark purple. Anything dark, okay? Because the human eye will make up its mind that it's a strawberry seed. You don't have to tell the human mind. All you have to do is create an illusion, right? Art is an illusion. So let's make an illusion. Mix this together. Let's take a pencil. See this? And let's dip it in this dark stuff. And let's make some seeds. I've never done this, by the way. This is the first time I've done this. Dipping and creating seeds. The seeds are again an illusion, right? But it's also every seed, not every, but most of the seeds will get a highlight and a shadow. So that seed's too big right there. Small brush to do this if you wanted to. Gigantic seed, huh? That's a boo-boo, see? When you have a boo-boo, get rid of it. Fix it. It's okay, it's only art. It's not like we're putting a man on the moon. It's creating something fun on a beautiful summer day. We eat the strawberry when we're done. It's gonna look so good. It's gonna look delicious and dimensional and it's gonna look real. Even though it's an abstract, loose, sloppy, finger-painted thing, right? Okay, there's the uh, foundation of the seeds. All right, now we're gonna put a little highlight on the stem. This is the light source, right? The stem's pretty flat right there. This is very dimensional. Dark, light, right? So let's just add a little, couple of speckles. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? Take the back of my pencil, the back, <coughs> and dip it in that color. And just kind of create some stem. Yeah, like keep it loose, like I said. Who cares? Make it fun. It's very, very festive, very summery looking. Okay, now <clears throat> take the other side of the pencil, the pointy side. I'm going to dip it in white, pure white, and I put little teeny highlights in some of the seeds to make it dimensional. So let's find our white. I'm just going to. Okay, so these seeds are indented, right? So the highlight's not gonna be on that side of the seed because it doesn't pop out. It's indented, so the light is going to be on this side of every seed. Do you understand that logic there? It's called light logic. Understanding where the highlight is. It's starting to come alive here. Like I said, this is not a realistic painting, but we're doing a couple of realistic, logical life things to make it believable that this illusion we've created here is a piece of fruit. I noticed that strawberries are very mathematically programmed. The seeds are like almost perfectly done. This is not a normal strawberry here. These are not equidistant seeds. These are all over the place, like an Eric Robinson strawberry. It's a little bit different. Okay. I'm going to roll that in white in there and just put some of that on my stem, too, just for fun. Wow, it's kind of pretty. You guys, I think that's it. That's how you finger paint a strawberry. Hope you had fun. Bye.